What is up guys, Proper Truth here. First off, I would like to apologize to everybody who has mentioned that my audio has been in and out lately. Again, I am sorry guys, I do not own a mic right now. I'm supposed to be getting one in about a week or two for my uncle, he's actually gonna give me his. So until the time being, just bear with me guys. And the reason why I mention that to you guys right now is because in this video, you guys will be seeing a Mermel deck profile and you will hear a little bit of scuffling and moving around again. My apologies on that. I do hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. If you guys have any questions about it, just leave it in the comment box below. Let's get started, guys. What's up, guys? Proper Truth here. And today with me, I have Deshaun, my brother, a.k.a. Omega. And he's going to give you guys a deck profile on his Mermel deck. I know a lot of guys are looking for Mermel deck profile simply because we're in a link format. So let's get straight to it. First, I played one of this lead. Uh, you don't really play one. Uh, he's a good uh, level another seven twenty-seven beta. Uh, you don't really use him for his pitch effect by triggering a mermel, taking one card and jump on the hat. Uh, that's about it, really. Then you play the bo the boss boss, the hardest soul of the deck, triple megalo. You play three of these. He's like the best card in this in the deck. He pitches two waters, special summon him. Uh, affects search any abyss spell and track card. And he just triggers all the Atlanteans in the deck, every one of them, especially uh, with him and Dragoons. Great combo. Then you play three Teus. He's a very good. You have to max out this card. He's an instant double search. He's a one pitch. You can search any Murmur with this card, lower for lower. But if you pitch this to Dragoons, you get double search in one turn, which is always great. It's a lot of searching. Uh, I only play one Teus. Uh, Turge, I'm sorry. Uh, Turge is just to simply recycle anything the graveyard, like the marksman or the infantries, stuff like that. So just have more pitch fodder for your uh, bigger water monsters. Only one though? Only one. Or you don't need to play more than one. Cool. I also play three pipes. Uh, I know a lot of people play this at one, most of people play two, but I personally like three. Uh, he's he just he's another deck dinner. Again, he's another double search. You can pitch him, the dragoons, or any other guns, he just an instant like search. Uh, especially if you spear this card, you know the spear negates the effect. It's a great out, so you can just pitch, use his effect to pay cost, to pitch the Atlantean and take pop one face off, pop one face down. Uh, next I play double Lin. Uh, some people don't play her at all, some people play her at one. I personally like her at two. Uh, she gets me out a lot of plays, so she can prevent to be an OTK, especially, and she can great combo with spear. So easy, you can play her, Play one of these, get the effect off, or play leads and be over stuff, you know, stuff like that. She gets you out of a lot of place. Next, I play only two guns. Uh, I feel like guns best at two. I feel like three gets a little cloggy at times, so I only play two. So she's only good when you really have a mermaid attire, say if you go first to open the board game. Uh, you, she's just an instant reborn for any one of That is two, bro. Okay. Next, I play one opera spirit. We play her now simply because Norda is now banned, so she's in another special little four to still get the water combos to soothe the Bahama Shark into the tree toe if you're under a, if you have a lake monster, that combo's still alive. Next I play two dragoons. I, man, I wish this card was back at three. This card is like one of the best cards off this deck. He pretty much searches off your your whole combos, like the megalos, he can search the uh Moon Iglesia, uh any any excuse for research the prince in case you need it right then and then. He's a great card. Uh since he's limited to two. You but, think that he'll go to three now that we're in the link format? Um, I don't think he'll go to three because even in the link format, Mermo still has a lot of search power. And he's just an easy two pitch just pitch fodder and then now it prints out, it will be it will just be freaking redundant. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh I played three pipe uh, marksmen. Yeah, it's OT marksman. <laughs> oh man, you got one that's in German? No, the entire all of them are foreign. One German to our Italian. Oh my god. Uh tech, the whole the whole deck is actually is foreign. The entire deck is max already foreign. Well, you guys were telling me I was rich with lights when I was doing this. <laughs> uh Marksman used plays to give it a back row. Uh I thought this card is actually really I maxed out on this. So because Zoo has to play tons of back rows of so Draco. And these guys just gets rid of that back row to help you like get rid of those plays that you want to be stopped by. Uh, next, you play the one of the best Atlanteans ever, Three Prince. This guy is the synergy of your combo. Like he will get you everything you need. 
basically when he, on you, his effect is not on summon, so you can activate any time, and it's only once per turn. Basically, you send any Atlantean from your deck to the graveyard and add one. So basically, you can do something crazy by sending Dragoons, searching Dragoons, and your <laughs> Dragon go get you the Megalo, that's already a double search, and you have the Megalo to keep going. It's, it's, it's just, this card is too broken, like, this card is, wow. This card, when it first came out, this card was amazing. So would you consider that as like the soul of the deck or the heart of the deck? I would consider this is the soul. Like he will bring you OTKs no matter what. Just, he, he's basically play him, I win. That's pretty much what he is. <laughs> Next, I play three infantries. Infantry is the one that pops face ups. He's get you out of a lot of plays. Or even you can even use him to force activate stuff. So say like your opponent has a Dryden and you're pitching him off for a Mega or a Teus. Now they have to force see the use you're gonna target the make Dryden obviously. They'll be forced to use the Dryden effect now. And then if the, and once he's played, you continue all your combos now. Because now they don't have a Dryden to play anymore. Uh I play one Moon and Glacier. Only because He's a great card we summon if he pitches two cards in hand, but you know, the only summon him by having exactly five Wonder Monsters, and once you get higher than that, you can't really play him no more, so he used to become Pitch Father. <laughs> one Diva, oh, she's a great card. Sucks she's at one, but she's an amazing card. She pretty much opens a Prince place too, so you technically only have to open Prince half the time. If you open this, this equals instant Prince, or you can triple summon by using her, Infantry, and Prince, because uh, use this again. Infantry, infantry gives you another summon, summon the prince, and go off from there. That's insane. Also, she equals instant Trisha. <laughs> uh, the one Maxi, just because there's a lot of some uh, special summons deck out there, so she was Star Grails that special summon. Uh, Zeus is still alive until the balance. Pray to God that deck gets hit. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Uh, yeah, but it's always it's always a good hand trap just to draw cards. Uh, for the spells. I play one Abyss Scales. I, I can never say that last part of his name. It's just really hard. Mizuchi? Uh, yeah, Mizuchi. <laughs> Basically, this card is an OTK too. You can push, when you play your Megalo, quick it to him, he's 800. Attack twice, 3200, twice, 64, 18 game. Uh, also, great for uh, Abyss Gyros as well, so that way he's bigger than most cards in the deck now. I mean, most cards in the game, like, he pretty much just stops all of that, especially that Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Uh, Dryden, uh, the true Draco plays, Star Grails, a lot of stuff. I play one Institution only because I only have one target now that Norden's banned. So I only play Institution to play the Red Fish just so I can still play my water combos. Interesting. Play one Salvage, I found one to be best. More than one, I think it's too much. They're too dear, definitely too cloggy. Uh, only because that it only really serves the face and lower, and you only most of the time you don't really put them back into your head unless you really need it. And most of you use it for just is uh, to recycle marksmen and uh, infantry. The one of Regeki clears boards, help you get out of place, let you do more combos. Uh, I play one chalice just to help negate stuff. Anything that would try to stop my uh, combos or stop my OTK or just something I need to get over at the moment, basically. Okay. The one so charge, just because it's at one, it's a great restart. So in case you get, it helps you get a trouble top deck in this into opening board place instantly here. Uh, most people might want to agree with this, but I play three spears. I think spirits are a really great card. Also, a spear can help you get out of a lot of stuff. Like, if you got the opponent's trying to swing for game or swing to get a combo off, you play Spear, Spear can summon the, uh, the Lin, what you got? Summon the Lin or summon any of the big Mermos just to stop plays or stop getting from getting OTK. Oh, there's no level restriction? Nope. Play oh. any Mermos that affects the game, which you can't play Spark at that turn. But most of the time, if you're playing, just like the old days, you'll play mostly during your opponent's um, uh, main phase or second main phase, just so the Lin can get destroyed in the end phase and her, uh, her combo can continue. And the last card, I play the one warning. Uh, only play one. Great card to stop a lot of plays, stop Victor, stop this fire on this map, for instance. <laughs> Great one. Uh, 40 card main deck. Uh, for the extra deck, my star player, Kyogre. Kyogre. Uh, for the extra deck, I play one Trishella. Ooh. Great card. Such another water target. One Coral Dragon, it's a tuner, so it helps you get to more and more plays. Uh, I want to try the new White Whale and the White Dolphin. I just haven't found the time to make the space for them yet. Oh, my Whales. My Whales, yeah. Uh, I think the Whales and the Dolphin is really good. Uh, 
But for now, just Coral Dragon. Also, Coral Dragon has a pitch effect, will also can activate the, any of the Mermails or Atlantis effects as well. The one real, oh, I was so, I remember when I, when I uh, OCG first got up there with that list, I started picking up in the TZG and the Owlbear, unless he came on then, I was happy. So I have a whole it's bunch of these like 20 something of Brianna. So Actually, well, I only have like 12, two of ET. Oh. Uh, Brianna, great card in the deck as well, helps clear boards. Top of that, he's another water monster that pitches for the Atlantean Merman that affects an all trigger. The one Tosinoko, Tosinoko is basically just for the Diva and the um, Prince. This equals so you play him and lets you sink from your hand and you can make the Shishilla with him, uh, any level 4 Mermel and the level 2 uh, Infantry. Yeah. One Abyss Giles, this is one of the best cards in the Exeter. He helps you stop a lot of plays, like level 5 or high, you can't attack. Uh, I use him a lot, he stopped the Dinosaur deck a lot as well because it's several his effect where he can negate and deload him. So he can stop stuff like the Ori Raptor. Uh, Lagia and stuff, if Lagia doesn't have the effect already, it, he's a great card. Also, he can also, he also stops the Ultra Tuck Tyranno, because then he, the Tyranno can attack you either if he books it, uh, because it's too good, and then you have the Smoke Rope to it, he's 36, so it will be bigger than trying to stop that whole effect period. One Draco Sack, great card, uh, especially this use of business for his token effect and pop effect. Uh, this card is really sometimes really hard to go over just because it talks you to kill the tokens first and try to kill him. Uh, the one red eyes flare, Ooh. great card too. Uh, Instant rank seven uh, also helps you limit your opponent's plays. So because you know when you play this card, if you can't really have the card out, you can't show the card effect. If you can't kill my battle, you have to like overextend just to go this one card, but you're gonna burn for every card you use. The one big eye, uh, I used to play two. I recently cut it down to one. I feel like one is better than one. Uh, usually because usually there's not a lot of cards that can target the day these days or is unaffected by card effects But he's still a good out to those decks that like, you take control of like for instance You can use this to take a link monster and he'll open your build with a link plays for you. So big guy's still a great card One hope we even shark spider uh, This card, I feel like this card is underrated. I feel like this card is amazing uh, One simple fact he gets over a lot of stuff in battle basically affects detach one and he decreases the opponent's high board by a thousand attack points, which I think is freaking amazing. And on top, even if you kill this, he's going to be born in any monster from great. It has no level restrictions, it's just any monster. Any any monster you choose. That's so I'm not fair. It's it's not, but I think it's really good. The one silent honor art, still a great card. Can't be destroyed by can't really be destroyed by the attaching one. So it technically you have to if you don't use it, you're gonna kill it three times, which that's is pretty annoying. And on top of that, he pretty much out anything you couldn't beat over, especially late monsters since they're all special something and they can't go defense on anyway, so they're just easy force take targets. Uh, the one cast out, another great out card. Uh, just book, just get any really pro any problematic card just by bouncing it back to your hand. Uh, great card, just a great card. Uh, I still play the one Bahama shark. I still he's still a great card, especially if you play him. Say even if I well I personally don't play no late monster this deck. But say your opponent when they play the deco talker, you can still play this in your extra deck zone and then play the toad in under the link marker for the deco talker. So I still think this play is still alive. And as you see, one toad still for the Bahamut plays. Uh, you can still make this manually. You can use two infantries to make it. So even, even he's still not dead either way. Uh, also play one dweller. Uh, dweller is a great out card. It stops dinosaur. It stops uh, the royal ram plays. The, it stops the true Draco spawn truck art. I think it's, it's an amazing card and I think he's gonna be really good this one man Then of course on top of it, he makes you all your water monsters just really big and beefy now So they become more problematic card and my one institution target I play is the one rare fish mm -hmm. Just in keep to make the rank 4 plays and he's still open plays no matter what and that's pretty much it for the extra deck And I, I know you said that you don't play links in your extra deck, but mm, do you think later on you will be adding in links? Um, I think when, once the only link monster I think of adding right now is the Master Starboard because that will be like the best card in this deck. All the water monster becomes bigger and, and his arrows are down, right? And his arrows are down, so it makes even it makes you open even more plays. Uh, especially the thing about this, the Master Starboard increases all water monsters, so think about a 27 toad on board now. <laughs> We, we, they can keep uh, Starboy. Yeah, we keep Starboy. And technically, Mermos don't really use their, their Lion or Extra Deck. They can just OTK by themselves. So the one Extra Deck zone is, is not really hurting this deck at all. Okay. You have a side deck, right? Uh, yeah, now for the side deck. I play two of the Zarathon, the Time Lord. Why? She's, uh, I think she's great. 
she's uh, when she attacks, she came to show a battle card effect. Uh, when she attacks, she pretty much just sends the entire back row back into the air. Like she just she's a giant tree date by herself. Wow. And then on top of that, she's also a water target. So in case I can't play, she's also good to pitch. So very rare for my Bevelos plays. Also, if she's pitched by if she's sending very by card effect, she can let me draw a card. Just cause. Just for Just for just So imagine just pitching her searchy, 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 draw. That's insane. <laughs> that is insane. So two of her. Um two game seals. Game Seal, uh, like all Kaijus, they're just out to anything. Also, Game Seal's best force best in the deck. Again, water target. One Fog King. Uh, I only played one. Uh, I feel like this is better over than a Master Restrict to stop two Dracos for a little while. Uh, also, if I can, if you play it, again, another water target. And it's a level 7, so I can exceed with it too. Entire extra deck supports you, that is insane. Uh, I played two Flying Sea. Well, until this deck gets hit, hit for now, still against Zeus, so that deck just gets just go away. <laughs> they like eighty cents. Then someone that deck needs to die. <laughs> uh, two gold servers, still one of the best hand traps. I think she's gonna be really good this format. She really wants to actually stop all the link monsters because she could just instantly destroy them, which can actually interrupt your opponent's play. Now they only have one extra deck zone, purple air, uh, and then she just like. You play Vico Talk and you try to trigger a blowout. <laughs> oh, I know you're going after the ultimate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I play two cards of Cyclones, still a great card. Uh, it's an it's an out to almost every spell track of this game, like the diagram, barrage, uh, any of the two dragon spell track cards, any 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 problematic spell track card, period. It just like it doesn't destroy it, so I know some cards go plus from be destroyed, so this just completely removes it from the game. Uh, I play two of my bodies. Okay. My body, I think, is a great part of this deck because only thing that really stops this deck is really just being destroyed. Um, because once they're all like pretty big, so it's kind of hard to run over some of them. And most people are just gonna play board wipes, and this will just stop the boys, and it just you can't really stop them now. And then last, I play two anti spells. Anti spell because pendulum is still running around. Uh, the magician. The magicians. That, yeah. that, like that extra, that put them in the spell trackers and did not stop them whatsoever. <laughs> so I still play this also. It's a slow play down. Like most, I know most deck these are not spell heavy. So this slows, pretty much slows the deck down. And I only play five spells, six spells. So this doesn't really bother me at all. Uh, I will be using this deck. I feel like Mermos will be one of the best decks. This format, especially in link format. It just, this deck is just really, really strong. And it's one of those decks that you really don't have to use your extra deck. So this whole extra deck zone doesn't really bother you. And on top of it, you don't really have to play Link Monsters in here. Yeah, I'm kind of shocked you're not playing Links. Well, like I said, because the remotes can actually still play under this one extra deck zone. Because most of the time, you're just playing one extra deck monster. And unless you can really open that. But the only time you really play two would be like if you open... Muhammad Shark, and then you can make this play, and then you probably open with the Abyss Gaios. But even that, you can still play Mermos, just play the Abyss Gaios, leave the Mermos boy, and this, and this alone will just stop plays by himself. That's interesting. And I also heard you went, you got your Nash invite through this deck, right? But uh, I actually got, this deck got me two invites, believe it or not. I played it, I had this deck on and off, like, believe it or not, I had this deck like several times. <laughs> and I moved it like a couple of times, and I kept picking it back up. So it's like, me and this deck has a personal connection. <laughs> so I can't move it no more. Switch my brother will kill me. <laughs> yeah, definitely I will. Uh, yeah, it got me two invites. Uh, it got me an invite in 2016, when I first time went to Nationals. I actually took it to Nats with me. Uh, it didn't do too well in Nats as I wish I it wish it did, but you know, I still I still think that this uh, this deck is good. And it got me my invite last year. I actually got me my second invite last year. When I took it to the Brooklyn Regionals, uh, I came in nineteenth place with this. Uh, I think it was still a really strong deck. It just I feel like Mermos has a lot of outs to most of these decks these days. Alright. Well thank you for showing me uh Mermel deck. Uh, do you have any questions for the fans, for the for the page? Uh, you know, if you guys feel like any pointers that I can use to change the deck or have any ideas, I'm more than welcome to leave a comment on the video or more than welcome to also want to give a shout out to my brother uh, for supporting his channel, you know, all his good work that he's doing. You know, give him, I want you guys to keep supporting him, let him keep going. Uh, also, a shout out to my locals, Mel's, and all of that. Truly you know, urban. Truly urban. You know, I love you guys. All right. Well, thanks again, and uh, hopefully we see another deck profile of uh, of another deck of yours. Yeah, so sure. Maybe I'll we'll... another one. Awesome. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in.